Floyd Mayweather Jr., arguably one of the greatest fighters in the sport, stepped into the ring once again last night for a highly anticipated bout against John Gotti. The fight, which took place in Mexico City, delivered unexpected moments that left fans and commentators alike stunned. Throughout the match, Mayweather demonstrated his unparalleled skill and composure, but his reactions during the fight hinted at underlying tensions that briefly disrupted the action. As the fight commenced, both fighters approached the ring with distinct strategies. Mayweather, known for his defensive prowess and technical excellence, quickly established control. In the early exchanges, he showcased his signature quick jabs and precise hooks, keeping Gotti at bay. However, tension arose when Mayweather reacted strongly to a perceived illegal maneuver by Gotti. Come on, ref, that's not a behind the head shot. That's a hook from a long distance, Mayweather exclaimed, challenging the referee's judgment. The crowd watched in disbelief as Mayweather's frustration became apparent, momentarily pausing the fight and raising concerns about a possible disqualification. Despite the brief interruption, the fight resumed with Mayweather maintaining his dominance. This rematch, Floyd Mayweather Jr. vs. John Gotti II, starkly contrasted their first encounter, which had ended in chaos and a brawl. This time, the atmosphere was more controlled, with no major altercations or wild exchanges outside the ring. The eight-round exhibition did not captivate the crowd as much as expected, with many fans expressing their dissatisfaction through boos and displeasure throughout the fight. Unlike typical Mayweather bouts, there were no knockdowns or dramatic moments, resulting in a more subdued reception from the audience. Mayweather, now 47 years old, demonstrated his enduring skill and strategic approach against the younger Gotti, who at 31 is the grandson of the infamous crime boss John Gotti. Throughout the fight, Mayweather landed numerous punches with relative ease, though he never truly overwhelmed his opponent. By the end of the match, it was evident that Mayweather had controlled the action, winning by unanimous decision and preserving his flawless record. This victory further cemented his status as a four-division world champion, highlighting his ability to adapt and excel across different weight classes. After the fight, Mayweather acknowledged Gotti's toughness, describing him as tough as nails. He also took a moment to commend Julio Cesar Chavez Sir, a legendary figure in Mexican boxing who was part of the broadcast team. Expressing his gratitude, Mayweather said, Mexico City, I love you guys. Thanks for coming out, receiving cheers from the crowd in response. This respectful conclusion stood in stark contrast to their first fight in June 2023, which had ended abruptly due to excessive trash talking and holding, leading to a full-blown melee as both fighters' camps stormed the ring. In the rematch, the fight was more disciplined, with only brief moments of tension. Gotti showed frustration when the rounds, which were supposed to last two minutes, ran longer than expected. Mayweather appeared visibly angry after being warned about shots to the back of Gotti's head, but these incidents did not escalate into full-scale drama. Even with a referee change mid-fight, the rematch remained calm, allowing Mayweather to finish the exhibition on his own terms. Analyzing the fight round by round, the first round saw Mayweather come out strong, maintaining a high guard and landing effective counters. He quickly scored with a counter right and an overhand right, setting the pace early on. Gotti managed to land a right hand to Mayweather's body, but his attempts were tentative, prompting the crowd to whistle in disapproval. Mayweather danced around Gotti with ease, clearly dominating the round and earning a 10-9 score in his favor. In the second round, tensions rose when Mayweather was warned for a shot behind the head. His agitation was evident as he pushed the referee out of the way, signaling his frustration. Despite this, a new referee stepped in, and the fight continued with Mayweather quickly regaining control. The round concluded with both fighters tapping gloves, signaling a temporary truce, but Mayweather maintained his lead, bringing the score to 20-18. By the third round, Gotti still appeared hesitant, allowing Mayweather to adopt a more aggressive approach. Mayweather attacked relentlessly, turning Gotti into a punching bag against the ropes. However, Mayweather backed away when Gotti attempted to rush in, demonstrating his defensive skills. The round ended with Mayweather extending his lead to 30-27, showcasing his ability to dominate even when facing resistance. In the fourth round, Gotti slightly adjusted his strategy, beginning to stalk Mayweather more actively. Despite this, he struggled to land significant punches, 
and Mayweather countered effectively with left hooks and other combinations. Gotti's attempts at offense fell short, and Mayweather remained quick and playful, even sticking out his tongue to engage with the crowd. The round concluded with Mayweather comfortably ahead at 40 minus 36. The fifth round saw the crowd's frustration grow as Gotti failed to mount a significant challenge. Mayweather continued to control the action, widening the gap to 50 minus 45. In the sixth round, Gotti focused more on dodging Mayweather's punches rather than landing his own. He managed to land a left to Mayweather's body, but Mayweather responded swiftly with his own body shot. The crowd's discontent shifted from whistling to outright booing, but Mayweather simply grinned, ending the round with a commanding lead of 60 minus 54. In the seventh round, Mayweather increased his intensity, landing powerful headshots with greater velocity. Gotti briefly trapped Mayweather on the ropes, but failed to capitalize on the opportunity. Mayweather unleashed some heavy punches, nearly overwhelming Gotti, while the crowd's displeasure continued with more boos. Gotti looked almost lifeless, lacking a clear plan, as Mayweather remained in control, leading 76 minus 73. The final round saw both fighters trading stiff jabs, but the crowd remained unimpressed, continuing to boo throughout. Mayweather showcased more power, while Gotti complained about shots behind the head. Despite these complaints, both fighters maintained their composure, with Mayweather even sticking out his tongue and Gotti cracking a smile as the bell rang. They embraced in the ring, signifying mutual respect after a closely contested fight. Mayweather closed out the fight with a clean sweep, winning 80-70 on the scorecards. In the aftermath, Mayweather praised Gotti's toughness and acknowledged the respect he earned from the Mexican fans. He's my guy, but we had to put on a show for the people, Mayweather said, expressing his admiration for Gotti's determination and resilience. Gotti, in turn, recognized Mayweather's power, admitting he hit hard. He still got it. Looking ahead, Mayweather hinted at future opportunities during an in-ring interview, revealing that he had been offered a deal for three more exhibitions. We just got a call about a three-exhibition deal, and it's a crazy number, Mayweather stated, leaving his future plans open-ended. This suggests that while Mayweather may consider retirement, he is still open to continuing his legacy through exhibition matches. The fight between Mayweather and Gotti highlighted Mayweather's enduring skill and strategic mastery in the ring. Despite criticisms and unexpected reactions during the fight, Mayweather maintained his composure and demonstrated why he is considered one of the greatest boxers of all time. The exhibition, though not as thrilling as some of his past fights, showcased his ability to control the match and adapt to different opponents. Comparing the rematch to their first encounter, the contrast was evident. The initial fight ended in chaos with excessive trash talking and a brawl, whereas the rematch was more disciplined and respectful. This change in dynamics speaks to both fighters' growth and understanding of the importance of maintaining professionalism in the sport. Mayweather's ability to keep the fight on his terms and avoid unnecessary drama further solidifies his reputation as a master strategist in boxing. Mayweather's comments about potentially retiring reflect his awareness of his legacy and the desire to leave the sport on his own terms. At 47, he remains in remarkable shape, and his continued success in exhibitions suggests that he still has the drive and capability to compete. However, the decision to retire will ultimately depend on his personal goals and how he wishes to conclude his illustrious career. The boxing community remains divided on whether Mayweather should continue fighting or retire while still at the top. Fans are eager to see who his next opponent will be, with many speculating about potential matchups against other top contenders or even a dream fight against Canelo Alvarez. Such a bout would undoubtedly generate immense interest and excitement, but Mayweather's hints at retirement add an element of uncertainty to the future of his career. In conclusion, Floyd Mayweather Jr. E's latest fight against John Gotti was a testament to his enduring skill, strategic brilliance, and ability to maintain control in the ring. While the fight lacked the explosive action of his previous bouts, it showcased his technical mastery and ability to adapt to different opponents. Mayweather's remarks about retirement and future exhibitions indicate that he remains open to continuing his legacy but the decision to retire will ultimately shape the final chapter of his remarkable career.
As fans in the boxing world watch closely, Mayweather's legacy as one of the greatest fighters in history remains secure, with his future actions poised to further define his unparalleled impact on the sport.